So there's no question that this is a, a, an inflection point in technology. I have to say I've been in technology like for, you know, probably almost four decades or so, and this is one of the biggest disruptions that I've ever seen. Probably comparable to, uh, you know, the internet, the apps, and the cloud is in that order of magnitude. It's still very early, so it's like, you know, like the beginning of the internet, right? Uh, you wouldn't put uh, immediately all your most, uh, you know, important workloads there, but the imperative uh, is to really try to understand the potential. And so one thing that we're doing, we're really, uh, you know, uh, experimenting and, and also educating our developers really to try to understand the full potential. Um, there are a, a few areas where we're kind of diving deeper. One, for example, is uh, again on developer experience. So we have uh, uh, currently uh, proof of concepts, let's say, not for production, but definitely developers are already using some of the, uh, you know, assisted coding uh, technologies. I don't want to name necessarily in the name of a product, but think about uh, developers being able to auto-generate code from prompts. And uh, uh, we're starting to see actually that that even further boosts the productivity with uh, some developers saying that, uh, you know, they can write uh, 20 to 40% of the code automatically in, in specific cases. Or for example, they can generate test cases for their code automatically. It's an interesting dualism because when you develop something, you develop the code and the code that tests the code. And if you actually have a, a, you know, a GPT-like uh, technology generating the tests for your code, or you generate the test for the GPT code, you're creating this dualism where humans check machines or machines check human work. This kind of uh, symbiosis, I think, is really what is important here. It's never going to substitute developers, but it's actually definitely going to augment the developers to be more productive. So, so